We're back and ready to go sailing in style through 12 meter charters, a company that specializes in taking you out on boats that have competed in the America's Cup. They have eight in all, and we were ready to experience this rush and get involved. All right, Fulmer and I are ready to head out. Apparently yep. we're gonna get on a racing boat. Captain Kevin. Captain Kevin. We're gonna find out more once we take this <laughs> large dinghy out to our boat. Got the family right here too, they're going on a trip. So we motored out to where our boat was moored, but along the way, we were surrounded by beautiful sailboats everywhere. Well, we are in Newport. Then we pulled up alongside of our America's Cup racer and offloaded the gear. That's where Brian caught a quick interview with Captain Kevin before we set sail on the high seas. All right, we're on board. I'm with Captain Kevin. Captain, we're on a champion. Can, it, can you yes, tell you us are. about the boat? Columbia is probably one of the most famous America's Cup 12 meters in the world. Uh, she's the first 12 meter to win the America's Cup. Columbia was really dialed in and the crew was yeah. spot on. So by the time the English boat got here, we spanked them. It dominated. Dominated. Them. We brought our little crew. You gonna put us to work? Bet. Oh, uh, I don't think you've seen these guys yet. So I'm a little nervous about that aspect. So on Columbia itself, this champion, how many people can you accommodate on this boat? So we, we can take up to 13 people plus our crew. Okay. okay the boat's 70 feet long, so there's plenty of room. Uh, you can be as active as you'd like, or you can sit back and relax and just enjoy the sights. All right. I think I want to do a little of both. Let's do it. All right. So Captain Kevin went over some safety rules and man overboard procedures. Then we started setting up our gear for the shoot, and Captain motored us out to where Brian and my boys prepared to raise the cloths and get Columbia to do what she does best, sail. Where are you nervous? Oh yeah. Boys got their job up there. Check it out, Wolfie. Waiting for Captain Signal. All right, Dave, whenever you're ready, all right? Sail's getting ready to go up. I can't wait till we catch wind. Hey, Wolfie. And we're going to be tilting over, 20, 30 degrees. 20, 30 degrees, you think, Captain? You tell me. What did happen? All right. Crank it, boys are cranking. Come on, don't let your old man down. Oh, guys, Teamwork. Go. Hey, Alec, go ahead and stand up with your uh, Chris. There you go, just watch your chin. I'm starting to think this is a setup. This is the boat. Yeah, Captain yeah. Captain Puck gave me a job that's nothing to do <laughs> <laughs> to keep me out of the way. <laughs> he knows me. Here, hold this. <laughs> no matter what, don't let go. Yeah, it's right in the center of the boat. It's pretty safe. <laughs> like a fake steering wheel. <laughs> Boys are almost there. They're still cranking away. This is the most work these kids had all summer. Come on, keep cranking it. Homer's doing something now. Here the sails flapping around. Boys are still cranking. Keep going, boys. Don't let the arms fatigue. Come on. Don't let me down. You're almost there. Don't worry about your back. You're 13. We got ice packs. Oh. And their arms. Almost, guys. Almost. Come on, boys. Finish it strong. Ease it out, Captain. Yeah, let it go where it wants. Let it ease out a little more, a little more. Hold it right there. So we started to tilt and got underway, but we needed to put one more sail up, the jib, to truly get up the speed. Come on, A-pop. Come on, Fulmas. Yes, you can. Heave. Ho. I knew how hard that sail was to get up. I remember from Annapolis, you could feel the fatigue in your arms, the burning sensation, and as it goes higher, it gets even more difficult. Wow, Captain, that was tough. Now you said that type of work. I'm more of a paper pusher myself. Here comes the lean now. And lean we did, or heel as they call it in sailing lingo. We were so far heeled that the jib was touching the water. Just look how the Columbia slices through the ocean almost with a silent stealth. And see how we are? I would say that we were at a 30 degree angle, like I mentioned earlier in this segment. You know, there's a certain beauty in natural calm when you're out there. We all had time to sit back and relax after the work was done. Me with my sons, Alec and Chris, Fulmer hanging out, my wife hiding from the camera, and Wolfie still doing his job filming. It seemed for that moment in time that everything was perfect in life and 12-meter charters allowed us to get to that moment. <laughs>